All right, so this video is gonna kind of just be going over something that I haven't really talked about in a video. I mentioned it on stream once, and I'm here to kind of just make the actual video now because I think honestly it's pretty important for people to know um, about this, I think. And I wanna know uh, what you guys think about what I'm gonna mention in this video. Do you agree with me? Do you think it's not that big of a problem? But let's talk about it. I think that for many people who have played mostly to end game, I could say people might be those people might either fully agree or fully disagree because it's a bit like controversial. Um, so they are changing stuff for the global version, and we're going to be talking about mainly also Canada version, which is coming out this month, right? Now, uh, they're saying that regarding the global version, the following adjustments have been confirmed, and I could see them also maybe uh, considering doing this to the Canada version, but um, they do kind of refer to it as a different thing, like global, and then here it says Canada version, right? So um, I'm kind of guessing that these might like at least, uh, these adjustments might be made to Canada too, but let's talk about them. So it says adjusting the difficulty of certain levels to enhance the overall smoothness of the gaming ex experience. And then secondly, reducing the grind in the game so that players don't have to constantly grind. As for the first point, I'm going to guess that it's mainly the final stages for uh, probably this one, this one and this one. And uh, as for changing difficulty, right? Now, when you get to from th like 13 to 15, when you start unlocking a large gear, that first jump, like being able to complete it is very hard. And if you don't have the right units, usually is um it takes at least like two to three weeks to really get to it but that's like if you're hard grinding right and if you're not it could be even more difficult so I th i'd say that this is what they're going to be changing from 13 to 15 on most of these stages is when it gets hard so we could even expect like here 13 to 15 uh some changes right i don't really do these modes a lot because i don't need to in terms of substats um at level 15 they don't really give the most so i don't see a point in it yet doing it um and next up of course is reducing the grind in game i think that for that part um it could be good it could be good for xp we need it because if i do um a skip ticket on 13 it's going to produce about the same thing so i get seven right six ssr one ur and if i go on 15 it's still going to give me seven potions total, but with a higher chance of, but look, same thing, right? So I'd say that that is something they need to change and make it so that like the higher stages give more XP because right now it's kind of atrocious. Like what I, I, I mean, like I've been, I just farm it like every single day a bit, like to do my hundred stamina. And it's like, I don't really have that much XP potions. And I know that for people who, um, don't really do much of these stages. It's kind of hard. Now, the main cake of this video is talking about gear. I think this is the main problem. Um, if they actually reduce the grind, there's going to be nothing else, really. Uh, we had enough, I'd say, for if you like played hardcore to really have like a month to a month and a half worth of like grinding before it really sinks in right before like the black clover cope is over and that's because of how long the gear grind took you could do like maybe a hundred runs get like two lr pieces right now depending on how much they adjust it it could end up uh pretty bad honestly if they reduce it because in a way it's a very necessary evil when you consider the fact that at the moment there's not much else to entertain us and if it does happen to the Canada version like this, you know, maybe you could, it, it gives you like a couple days worth of content if you really grind it out. And then in Reno, you get like about eight runs a day, maybe more, right? So we are going to be needing gear, right? Gear is going to be needed to kind of keep us entertained, um, especially for creating full gear sets at first, right? At first. And the main thing is because, well, we need other forms of content that's not out yet, right? But they are uh, confirmed to come out, right? I made a video on it. Let me just pull it up real quick. But like there are five game modes that are like planned to come out. And I think that this is definitely going to kind of expand the game more. And it seems like they're planning to have the game complete by September, which is when it seems is uh, going to be the global launch, if anything. Uh, this was it was said in a video that most of these will be out by September and that by September, the game would be complete. Now, if they take out uh, the insane gear grind and just make it very mundane it's actually going to become worse because people are going to realize early on what do i do after i farm gear right that's how it's going to be because we already have 
skip tickets and three times on the Canada launch, I'm guessing, right? So it's going to be even quicker than it would be um, here, right? You're going to be able to get through it very quickly. But they're also seemingly from the, the text that we've got here, if I'm going to go back on it. Um, hold on. Let me try to... If we're like going back on the text, right? It says... Reducing the grinding game so that players don't have to constantly grind, which to me seems that they're going to make it a lot easier in terms of drop rates for LR gear, which or and also UR gear just in its respective uh, tiers, right? Now, could be good, could be bad, but honestly, if that's all they're changing, it's going to be bad. Like, the main part about gear in my eyes that they should change is just like um, substats, like if we're going to go into it, of course, the amount of gear of LR gear that you get is shit. But if they make it too easy to get it, it's going to be bad, right? Now, the main parts for me is accessories. Uh, they are weird. And getting a large gear is very tough. Getting the right ones you need is very tough. And as for, I mean, that they probably won't touch, honestly. But main thing is, uh, it's not even just getting the LR gears. You need good substats. And even getting, like, uh, upgrading the substats uh, is very hard, to get like the purple ones like you won't get a lot especially for the percentage boosting ones so i'd say that if some people do get it like sometimes you could get it in limited time events but it's very rare right so i'd say that like because of every other element that consists of gear it's bad of how little lr gear we get but if they do manage to kind of uh up the amount that we get by uh like maybe I'd say 50% to 100% is what we would need. Because right now, like maybe in 50 runs, on average, you're going to get like one. If we get like three to four every 50 runs, I'd say that would be um, a lot better in my eyes. But like that's like on average. So like I'm saying you could get very lucky, but you should not get less than three on average, right? Like I think it's three or more, three, four or more, right? That's how I, how I see how it should usually be. But the like... Obviously, it won't always be that way, but um, I'm just saying, like, everything else about gear is bad. Substats, um, upgrading, because sometimes it could take, like, 500k plus for one piece of gear, right? And then, of course, there's also the fact that you need to get magic attack and attack sets sometimes. So, I'd say that um, increasing it is good, but if they increase it too much, there's going to be nothing left. Because after you grind your characters, I'm telling you, there is not that much left, right? Now... Once they start adding these new pieces of content, then yeah, it's going to be great. Absolutely wonderful. But till then, we got to hold out. We got to hold out a bit because, you know, it, it's going to suck. But I just think that uh, best case, they increase it a, like a decent bit, but they don't make it that like 50 runs, you get like 20 LR pieces, right? I think that would be a bit like a bit bad in my eye. It would be bad because, you know, there's a lot of different sets, right? But Obviously, you need to get a bunch of different LR gear, but I've not really touched getting LR in a while, LR pieces in a while, and I have all this, right? So, like, this is enough to kind of sustain myself for the main units I want. But, of course, I could get more. I could get a bit more. But, um, also, by the way, increase the gear cap because 500 is fucking nothing. Anyway, um, yeah, so just make it so that gear does increase a bit, but not nothing too crazy, right? Um... Because if they do increase it too much, then there's going to be nothing to grind, right? Nothing. What are you going to grind? Like your eight arena runs a day, you're going to grind. Oh, talents. Yeah. Talents, XP, gear. Gear, they check it off. And then XP is not that much of a problem early game. Like they're going to kind of shorten the time, sp time span that you realize, oh shit, there's no content, right? They're going to make it from like maybe a month, a month and a half to like three weeks if they actually do it too much. So yeah, anyway, if you guys understand my point, let me know if you don't. Um, I guess I'll have to make a more in-depth video on this, but yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. If you got to this point, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.